In this video, we're going to be looking at how Space Claim can be used as a parametric tool. So Space Claim at its core is a direct modeler. You do everything directly on the model, so you don't have a traditional history tree. Um, if you have used any other parametric system, such as SolidWorks, Inventor, you will know that it, they have history trees. And if you generally want to modify the model, as long as it's been created in that system, you would go into the history and modify it there and then rebuild the model. So Space Claim has added this to its core functionality. Um, in Space Claim, it is called blocks or block recording. Um, so this is found in the design tab and this is called, this is here. So this is going to be a very, very basic example, but hopefully you can extrapolate this and use it for more complex stuff. Great for different variations of models, different versions, different sizes of the same thing. Uh, this is the sort of thing this would be perfect for. So we're going to turn on blocks. And on the right hand side, we should see a panel appear. So this is our block recording panel, or basically our history tree. So um, this is going to record all of our steps. So we're going to literally start with a simple sketch. And I'm going to look at that from plan view. And I'm going to literally just draw a rectangle. I'm not even going to uh, center it from the, the middle or anything like that. Um, but just be aware we can do sketch constraints in space plane. We can constrain the sketch uh, a lot more than I am doing here. But that will be in another video. So we're going to add two dimensions to this rectangle. We're going to add a length and a width. I'm going to change these to 150. And that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to end the sketch editing. And we can straight away see to our right hand side, we've now got a sketch step. So I'm going to carry on, do a few more steps. I'm going to go use the pull tool. And I'm going to extrude this to a height of 50 mil. I'm then going to shell it out to, let's just use the default one mil wall thickness. And finally, I might add four radiuses to these corners. So I'm holding control, selecting all these four corners. And then I'm going to add uh, 10 mil, a 10 mil radius to those. So those are the only steps I'm going to do. Um, hopefully you can see on the right hand side each step. So the initial for sketch step, we've got the extrude step where I extrude it to 50 mil. We've got the shell step and we've got the create round step. Each of those is an individual step in my uh, tree or the blocks on the right hand side. So for example, if I wanted to edit this, I might want a different variation. Obviously, first of all, save your model. But if you want a different variation, um, let's say twice as big, we can open up the sketch step. And I can modify the values here and rebuild my, my uh, model using this play button. I can always go to the actual sketch. So down here, we can actually edit that initial sketch. So let's just make one change here. And let's make this 200 and this 100. So something as simple as that, just change the size twice as big, end the sketch editing. And I'm now going to click this step here and just rebuild. So we can see that I've just rebuilt, it, rebuilt my model and it's twice as big. But we can also rebuild using these steps here. So if I wanted to go twice as big now, let's go 400. 200. I might want to change a few more things as well. So maybe the, the height, let's go 75. Um, the wall thickness, we can go to a different wall thickness. We go to minus two. Um, or we can go to a different size rad. So maybe this is the, the, the second variation of this model. Rather than me build, rebuilding it from scratch, I can just make those changes. Hit the rebuild button and we can see now our model has rebuilt to these settings. So then you can save that, save as or save as a new version, and then you can rebuild different models or different variations. So this is a very, very basic example, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what you can do with a block recording in ANSYS Space Claim. And um, you can use that on much more complex models.